Hi guys, welcome back to another speed build in the Sims 4 I'm Kiko Builds. And for today's video, we are building a park in Enford and Bagley. That is the world that came with the expansion pack Cottage Living. And this build is actually part of a save file called the Sweater Weather 2.0 save file. It's actually a collaboration that was put together by Makayla Sims YT and this is called the Sweater Weather 2.0 because we actually did a first installment of this actually this uh, collaboration I think two years ago and as this title says and as the name of the safe file says it it's a safe file centered around autumn around the fall season and yeah we were approximately 30 simmers that came together to rebuild the entirety of Hanford and Bagley and also Brindleton Bay uh, in kind of a th um, fall or autumn theme safe file <laughs> so I was assigned this lot um, I mean I chose this lot but there weren't many left when I <laughs> when I finally um, were was able to choose my lot so I was assigned this lot uh, here that was originally called the Isle of Lope um, a lot in Ed Follow Bagley and it was also a park so I had to build something that was like a community lot and I decided to build a park and to build my maybe my ideal park maybe <laughs> so um yeah this little park here i didn't realize it was on a 50 by 40 lot until the very end when i finished completely and i uploaded it on the gallery um <laughs> for the save file i mean um i didn't realize because i had so much fun building i, I really thought it was a much much smaller uh lot because i didn't have that much space for everything i wanted to actually fit in this on this slot but i was able to fit a lot of things a lot of activities for you sims when i build whenever i build i always have in mind the players you guys <laughs> the ones who are going to play and i also always try my best to include as many interesting things for gameplay um something a, a lot that i would love to actually take my sims to or if it's a residential lot um, the perfect house for my sims to enjoy actually their their home and so this park is not uh different and um yeah you will see the many many activities that i decided to place on this slot um but the central focus of this uh this build or this park is actually the central river that is running down the middle of this lot here it's kind of a river <laughs> we can't really say it's a river because it has no i mean it ends uh it's finite <laughs> because we cannot obviously um go beyond the lot um i mean beyond the lot for so it's really a pond with a pond tool but to me it's like a river running down this beautiful park here and at the far end at the back of the lot we have the river transforms into a lake um, and with um, I place those rocks at the back of the lot and um, where you have a waterfall running down those rocks those rocks came with cottage living in the debug items and the waterfall came with island living uh, also in the debug item so the the body of water is the central part of this lot um, with also the bridge going over the pond as well i had so much fun building this lot here so so much fun and i will have a lot of fun also playing on it uh, i already tested it play tested it i as i always do i place test all my builds um, but yeah as you can see also i placed a lot of lights um, because i wanted the sims to be able to enjoy this park at um during the daytime but also during the evening and the night time because 
as this is a, a fall theme park um the title by the way is the autumn leaves park <laughs> so this is as this is a fall theme park so you know that during the fall night night falls a little earlier than during the summer so i wanted the sims also to be able and this is true also in the sims not just in real life um <laughs> uh but yeah i wanted the sims to be able to enjoy this park also at night so that's why i placed i went and placed a lot of lanterns a lot of little lights everywhere uh also on the path um that goes all around the park i also placed those tiny lights on the ground um lighting up the path and they came with a uh, perfect patio i think and a lot of items like those lanterns that are on the bridge uh they came with hmm what's the name of this bag the outdoors retreat bag now he was seeing the little house or the rest stop i don't know i don't know how you can call it but it's like the little house where you can uh refresh yourself you will have bathrooms in there uh you will have also a i think i think i played a bar for I don't know if it's called a bar actually <laughs> but it's for a cafe so you can hire a barista here you can order pastries and coffee and whatnot and this is the place where you typically in a park have the restrooms and also the informations about the park and everything and the community so this is the little house here i will be uh, decorating the interior and furnishing the interior um, at the end of the video um, yeah next to the end of the video it's a very tiny tiny building so I didn't have enough space on just one floor to place everything that I needed to place like the toilets maybe the restroom so I had to build a basement where you will find the restrooms for you sims the lot will be available in the save file. I will put uh, obviously the link for to download the save file. I will put it down below in the description box uh, as usual when I do collab uh, when the link will be available. But I will also put as I usually do with all my builds. This build will be available on the gallery for you to download on under my ID Kikwa underscore builds as usual. And I will also put the tray files uh, for you to directly download this build if you don't want to download the, the whole save file. I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as you can see, a lot of little lights, those lanterns that came with um, Outdoors Retreat. And now I'm building the little kids space. So it's the kids area and I placed this little doorway or maybe archway there, like an entrance to the kids uh, area. And this little doorway came with, or gate, <laughs> came with um, eco lifestyle. So I'm placing everything from the little campus kit. And this is a kit that I really, really like. And I never get a chance to I never got a chance to probably place everything that I wanted with to make a proper little campus space for for the Sims, uh, the child themes, children Sims <laughs> in the game. So this was my opportunity to actually place everything that I wanted. So I placed this little tent here, two beds. Um, so actually, you Sims can spend the entire day on this slot and also the whole night on this slot and uh, uh, because you have two beds and they can sleep here this can spend the night mind you i didn't place any any showers or bathtub because <laughs> why would you have a shower on in a, in a park i don't know uh so they will be able to maybe they will have to wash their hands or brush their teeth to be able to level up their hygiene needs but yeah other than that you will be able to spend a whole day and a, a whole night on this slot and that's what i actually did when i would place when i was play testing this and um so yeah, as you can see, I placed everything. I placed the big screen here uh, that is so, so cute. Those items are very, very cute. And I had to place the big screen underneath a roof 
because as you may know everything that is electronic breaks um, when there is rain and because we are in the fall season you ha will have a lot of rain uh, in the sims so uh, i had to place it under a roof so this way your sims can will be able to enjoy a nice movie night or a nice movie afternoon uh in this park without it breaking because this is really just annoying uh <laughs> yeah i placed everything for the sims this was actually my f like my ideal park i would love to have a park like this growing up uh, next to my house and yeah this little um, swing set here is like my favorite in the whole game I think it's so so cute and what I love about this little campus kit as well is that we have a lot of fairy lights coming with it a lot of little lights light bulbs everywhere so it makes it very cute and it goes with absolutely goes with the theme that I had with my for this park as you can see a lot of fairy lights a lot of lights also that I placed on the on the trees um, as you can see the tree just behind the tent I place those lights that go around the tree and up the trunk and into the leaves and this is actually an object that came with uh, cottage living I think yeah I think it's cottage living yes <laughs> all the lights that you will see me place in the tree because we have two different types of lights and all the lights that I uh, that goes go in the trees all the lights that you can see me place on trees came from cottage living in the debug items i mean and now you are seeing the pumpkin pumpkin patch and of course we are in a park we are during the fall season so you need a pumpkin patch so it's my joy is very small because i had a lot of other activities to place on this lot so um <laughs> the space for this pumpkin patch is not that big but it does the job um so i placed some pumpkins here and there from the debug menu um, they are just decorative and also i placed those patches the gar gardening patches that came with cottage living and i went and placed those um, pumpkin crops um, that are already planted so they're ready you can come with your sims your sims will be able to up their i mean level up their gardening skills also by taking care of this little garden and maybe harvest those magnificent pumpkins when they when they grow um, and yeah so I also placed uh, those carved pumpkins for Halloween and those yeah so those uh, holidays uh, for the for the summer or oh, not summer what am I saying <laughs> the fall holidays like Halloween and also of course I had to place uh, the scarecrow I don't remember his name I used to play so much with this scarecrow uh, at, at one point but yeah I also place if you noticed the pumpkin pumpkin carving station next to the pumpkin patch and next to the, all those carved pumpkins and so you seems will be able to also carve pumpkins um on this slot so if you don't own this pack uh it's um this little back where you have all those carved pumpkins and the pump pumpkin carving station i think the 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 pack is a stuff pack that is called the spooky stuff pack this is one of the last packs that i that I bought I mean when I didn't have uh, all the packs and this is one of the last one that I purchased I mean <laughs> yeah but it's because it's not that necessary in the game but it's it adds uh, some nice features to the game um, as you can see I placed also a um, an archway for wedding a wedding arch so because <laughs> I like to have a nice place for mind you it's not a wedding venue so yeah it's not a place when you can hold a nice wedding and stuff but you can still have nice pictures uh with your sims next to if you just want to make a small wedding with just your sims uh they can go there to the park and have a small wedding next to the this archway private little wedding mind you it's next to the pumpkin patch in the pumpkin carving station then I think it's nice to have this in a park and uh, when you want you seem to just elope next to uh, the next the nearest arch wedding arch 
<laughs> I also placed some um, yoga mats, as you could see. Of course, we were in a park, and I love, love, love yoga in the game. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I had to place a. We have an instructor, an instructor's mat, and we also have. So you will have an instructor coming in your game automatically because of this yoga mat and we also have i also placed two other yoga mats for you seems to be able to spontaneously do yoga if they want so now you are seeing on the screen the the picnic area and i think the picnic area is the largest area uh, of all the activities that we have here of course because we're in a park people want to um picnic in the park want to eat outside so i placed this big picnic area with those picnic tables that came with outdoors retreat as well um and of course the barbecue grill and the blanket that i placed on the ground came with a little punk pump little campus kit <laughs> and i placed um picnic baskets on this blanket and those picnic baskets came with cottage living uh actually so yeah <laughs> a lot of activities as you can see for you seems to enjoy this park thoroughly we have um, this pond that's something that I didn't say this pond is uh, you will be able to fish in it because I placed a sign a sign uh, with the pre stoked pond sign that came with the base game when we had the pond to update so you will be able to your sims will be able to pond any to <laughs> to fish anywhere on this pond or in this river um and i also place as you could see i also place a lot of uh life in this in this pond like uh, ducks and swans i forgot the fireflies and i'm so 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 sad about it uh but yeah and also I didn't talk about the little lanterns that I also placed on the lake and the river. Uh, these are the lanterns uh, that came with, the, I think it's the F Lights Festival from Mount um, And I thought it was a nice addition to this uh, little river slash lake. Um, they usually appear on the river in the middle of Mount Komorebi when uh, you have the Lights Festival. I think it's the Lights Festival, but yeah. I thought they went perfectly with what I wanted with this little park here. So as I was saying, a lot, a lot of uh, activities. I also placed, um, as you saw, we had also a uh, fire pit next to the big willow tree, next to the pond, and also two lounge chairs if you seem to decide to they want to relax or sunbathe next to the pond, next to the river. So now we are inside of uh, the little rest stop or I don't know how to call it, the little house. Uh, <laughs> so as you can see, um, the, the walls, I think the walls, the interior walls are all came from for, for the upstairs, for the ground floor. All the interior walls came with um, um, Chestnut Ridge horse wrench, yes, <laughs> the horse wrench bag. Um, and the floor rings as well and the tiles for the ceiling as well i also made a little sunroom here just overlooking on the river and on the lake and on the uh, the swans and uh, the waterfall just for you seems to just rest there and drink a nice little coffee maybe if it's cold outside and yeah so um i placed downstairs now you can see the downstairs area and i placed the uh the amenities for you seems to refresh like um, the um, toilets I think the toilets came with um, high school years or maybe discover university and uh, yeah you the usual I think I placed the usuals uh, like the sink the toilet and also I also place a baby changing station as well on the wall for when you seems have infants uh, or toddlers that they want to change diapers their diapers so yeah i think we are almost at the end of this video oh we also have vending machines upstairs i think you saw that <laughs> but yeah i think we are only almost at the end of this video guys uh, i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed building this um and you will 
don't forget that we will have i will put the link for the save file down below in the description box if you want to download the save file and you can also follow the hashtag to see all the beautiful uh, builds that came with this safe ride as well so hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in the future and hope to see you next time for my next video guys and in the meantime take care bye